watching the Forbes.com video network. I'm Susan Yada. We're here in Palm Beach, Florida with a big surprise that has a price tag that's even bigger. Palm Beach, Florida, known for beautiful beaches, beautiful people, resorts, sunny weather, and soon to be known as the home of all homes, the most expensive home in the U.S. So tell me how much this house costs again. 125 million. You heard right. The estate is on the market for $125 million, and it's owned by none other than the billion-dollar man himself, Donald Trump. Sean, we're about to enter the most expensive house in the nation. Mm -hmm. What are we going to see? What you're going to see are a lot of amazing views, uh, primarily ocean views uh, from different parts of the house. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to see lots of marble, lots of granite. The bedrooms in the house, there's a total of 18 on the estate. A total of 22 bathrooms. Stop right there. That's 18 bedrooms and 22 bathrooms throughout the sprawling main house and three guest cottages that total more than 80,000 square feet. The estate is located on the highly desirable north end of Palm Beach and covers about seven acres of land with just about 500 feet of ocean front. Very grandiose to fit the Donald's lavish style. The biggest and the best. That's what he's about. Entering the main doors, there's a conservatory that overlooks the ocean. All of the rooms have high ceilings, and there's large windows to guarantee that ocean view. Throughout the house, there's marble and granite finishes, including in the main kitchen, where there's also mahogany cabinets and stainless steel appliances. Oh, and the restrooms aren't too shabby either. Have you had potential buyers come in already to look at it? Oh, yeah. There's yeah. been uh, probably 15 to 20, I'd say. And what do they say when they walk in? Are they blown away by the place? Blown away by the place. I mean, uh, the expressions when people see the, the conservatory and they see the ocean and just, you know, it's just so beautiful. Beautiful but deliberately bare. McCabe says though Donald Trump has made the mansion his own, the new owner gets to fill in the blanks. The place, for instance, needs chandeliers. Though Trump owns the estate, he stays at his other residence, Mar-a-Lago. You know, Mar-a-Lago is great. This place is great. Um, this probably has a better view than Mar-a-Lago over the ocean because Mar-a-Lago sits uh, west of uh, A1A, so it's not directly on the ocean. Imagine being able to look out over the ocean while you're taking a dip in your pool. Outside, surrounded by imported coquina stone, the pool is 100 feet long and 40 feet wide. There's an adjoining cottage, if you consider two bedrooms, two baths, and a kitchen, a cottage, that opens up to the water and a jacuzzi for those who just want to relax. The more Mr. Trump has done to this, the more he comes over, he's made many comments that he himself should just move in here. So what about potential buyers? If you're thinking it's celebrities, think again. McCabe says right now they are businessmen and Europeans, all looking for a getaway. It's going to be somebody who really wants the privacy and uh, wants to be part of the whole Palm Beach experience. And someone who really likes to throw parties, which is what the house was made for. McCabe says about a year ago it was probably worth about $80 million. But since then, Donald Trump has invested at least $25 million into the house since he bought it in January 2005. And although this house already costs $125 million, McCabe told me that Donald Trump keeps spending more on it, which could potentially make this house cost even more. Reporting from Palm Beach, Florida, and the most expensive house in the nation, I'm Susan Yada. Thank you for watching the Forbes.com video network.